Okay, so today we've got exclusive access to a Nottingham Forest football ground here, uh, two-time European uh, Cup winners who have given us the access so that we can talk about a very important number uh, in football and a very important number in probability, which is the number 23. Okay, so 23. So why is 23 an important number in football? Some of you may know this already. That's the number of people that you will have on the pitch during the game. That's two teams of 11 and the referee. So there are 23 people on the pitch. Now, here's my question today. What's the probability that two of those people will share a birthday? The answer may surprise you. Okay, so we're not talking about the year, we're just talking about the date itself. Maybe it's the 14th of January, maybe it's the 5th of June. We're talking about the date itself. So let's work this out. I can make this slightly easier if I ask the opposite question. I'm going to work out the opposite, which is what's the probability that no one on that pitch shares a birthday? That's an easier question to answer. Let's do this. Okay, so your first player, okay, it doesn't matter what birthday he has, but when your second player gets on the pitch, what's the probability that he doesn't share a birthday? Well, he will have, out of the 365 days to choose from, he can have a birthday on 364 of them out of 365. So we're not including February the 29th, no leap years here. And we are assuming that all days are equally likely. Okay, so your second player has to have one of these days. Your third player, when he comes onto the pitch, will have a choice of 363 days out of 365. And then what next? Uh, the fourth player. Out of those remaining days, he will have 362 out of 365. And you can keep going. Eventually, you'll get to the 23rd player. That's called him the referee. So your 23rd player. How many choices does he have? He will eventually get 343 days left out of 365. So this is the number of days that you're allowed to have for that referee's birthday because we are looking at no one sharing a birthday. Now, if you want to find out the probability that no one shares a birthday, you multiply all these together and you'll get a number. And that number is round about 0 0.49. Uh, if you're not happy with probabilities like that, that's 49.3%, just slightly under half. We were interested in the opposite question. The opposite question was, what's the probability that someone does share a birthday? That's the opposite thing of what we've worked out. So the probability that someone does share a birthday will be 50.7%. It's slightly over a half. You're more likely to sh for two players to share a birthday than if they don't share a birthday. And that's quite surprising. Um, and people wonder, to think, well, it must be something like 100 people. You must need 100 people for that to be true, or 200 people. If you think of it this way, think of all the pairs of people you can make out of 23 people on the pitch. All the possible pairs of people. In fact, there are 253 pairs of people you can make. And well, think of it that way, you can start to see why it's quite likely that two of those people will share a birthday. So next time you're at a football match, think of it. There is a 50, you have a greater than 50% chance that two of those people share a birthday. Okay, so here's another way to think about it. Imagine you're watching the game and, well, if you need to go to the toilet, you get up and you have to move past all the other people. By the time you've moved past 23 other spectators, there is a greater than 50% chance that two of those people you've walked past will have shared a birthday. 